Since I was a little boy, the forest has always been my happy place. A calm place, peaceful place, where I could have creative thoughts, dream big, and play cowboys and Indians. <laughs> so naturally, I made a career out of it. A career of working in the forest and being around trees. Around 10 years ago, I read a report that changed my life forever. A report that stated that, from the World Wildlife Fund, that stated that the Acadian forest as an ecosystem was going extinct because of abusive cutting. And sadly, this is the story of many native forests around the world. So I sense an urge of doing something about it. I had to reverse this trend. But people were telling me, either you save the forest or you build a profitable company. You can't do both. Actually, it's impossible to do both. But I don't know about you guys, but the word impossible just drives me to prove people wrong. So, after 10 years of hard work, many ups and downs, we're proud to say that we are balancing the ecology with the economy by doing restorative forestry combined with biomass energy. So how did we do it? So first of all, we asked ourselves, how can we create a company that restores the forest? And secondly, how can we create a company that prospers? Because we knew for a company to prosper, it needs to be sustainable. So how do we go about restoring the Acadian forest? Well, actually, it's kind of like, we're like forest doctors. So you go to the doctor when you're sick, you get evaluated, you have a prescription, you get a treatment, and then you're healthy again. So basically this is how we treat the forest. The forest is really, really sick, it's dense, it is dying, it is dark, it has less and less sunlight. And we do a civiculture prescription, so how can we treat the forest so it gets healthy again? And by doing these treatments, we use highly specialized machines that surgically removes the trees that are low quality and dying. So what does this do? Now the forest can breed better. It's kind of like your carrot garden. You do the weeding of the carrots, the carrots grow bigger, but we do the weeding of the forest. So we help the forest breed better. As you can see, the forest has now space, sunlight can come in, come in, and the new generation of trees can start to grow. So what is the effect of this thinning on a tree? So here, we took a picture of a stump from one of our prescribed treatments. In 1954, this tree started growing. Every growth is, is per annually. So it grew very well for the first 24 years because it had enough light, enough space. For the next 24 years, the growth slowed because it had less light and less space. And even it started to rot, as you can see, it started to turn brown. 2002, there was a thinning done it doubled its growth. It doubled its growth in half of the years. And as you can see, the wood turned white again. The tree was healthy again. So this is the benefit of doing a thinning. And I believe that you can do restorative forestry because we manage thousands and thousands of acres of restored forests for future generations to enjoy. So now on to the second question. How can we create a company that prospers? So five to six years ago, 
they were very challenging markets, very poor markets actually, and were, our backs were against the wall. And let me tell you, when you're back against the wall, that's where you start to innovate and think outside the box. So I was looking at a pile of wood, again, being in my happy place, in the forest. I told myself, this is stored solar energy. So trees stores the sun's power and turns it into wood. The sun is nature's powerhouse. So what are the benefits of wood energy? Wood energy brings stability to a region. A stabil stability of energy prices because it's local. It empowers communities because they take over the future of their energy prices. It brings stability to a region. Secondly, it's renewable. We can use this and reduce greenhouse gas emissions by replacing fossil fuel. And I was in Europe, and I started to look at European countries. They heat schools, hospitals with wood energy, even communities. And it creates jobs, a lot of jobs. This is a study for $1 million investment. How many jobs does it create? So if you combine civil culture with biomass energy, wood energy, it creates three times more jobs than wind and solar. So this is our little story how we are balancing the ecology with the economy. My challenge to you tonight is to ask yourselves, how can we build a better legacy by balancing the economy with the ecology? Thank you.